summer update. I'm traveling this weekend out of town, so a bit of a different background behind me this time. I want to talk about what I've been working on in the painting workshop. So I've been doing a small painting, a figure painting of Sin, and the painting is 16 by 20, so it's a lot smaller than what I'm used to working. And so that has been a bit of adjustment using smaller brushes, and it just seems like using smaller brushes seems a little uncomfortable for me because I like doing bigger brushes and um, I'm finding it hard to get all of the value shifts that I need while keeping everything as unified as I want to get it. So the appearance of the painting, um, what I'm, I don't know, I was doing the best I can with getting as like what I was saying the transitions between all of the the small shapes since the painting is smaller and I was th seeing, thinking that it's going pretty okay I was using more a lot thinner paint and doing more layers and that type of thing and kind of doing a lot of um, wet into wet but more there a lot of it was I guess a layer would be dry and I would want to adjust the the values or the colors or transitions and so I would just the painting would be dry and then I would be making those adjustments with thinner paint and kind of working wet into dry and then it would kind of take a while before I was then working up into the wet into wet and really being able to move everything around that way and during this week something came in the mail that I ordered this book on Nick Alm. I really like Nick Alm's work so once I saw this book on Amazon I bought it for myself and so when it came in the mail really happy with the purchase on it because he has a lot of the really good reproductions of the paintings which is always not the case when you order art books especially online so I'm glad that the reproductions are really nice and there's also a lot of detail so you see this couple here and you can see that they're back here so there's a lot of details shots in this book which I really like but his style with brushwork it's very Zorn and Sargent like this is what I was not seeing in that small painting that I was working on these really nice uh, fluid brush strokes where you can tell that a lot of this is painted wet into wet how you see like the brush strokes just flows down like that and looking at this book and then comparing it to my own painting I it was a lot easier comparing between my own painting than this seeing the the faults in my work which I didn't like as much compared to what Nick Alms getting with his effect So I was spent a lot of time just really pouring over these images and seeing what I like and trying to pull apart and see how he is building up a painting. And so what I ended up doing for my own painting then when I um, went to work on this on Friday, I really changed up my method. And so what I did was I mixed up my colors and instead of mixing them up from life and kind of changing my color palette uh, every day with the different since I'm working under natural light and the the effects of the sun are going to be different day to day instead of painting and mixing up my palette from what I'm seeing that day what I was doing was I was mixing up an area like working on Sin's face was probably one of the weakest parts and so I wanted to fix working on her portrait so what I did was I mixed up all the colors that made up her face from my painting. So I was mixing up new colors from the painting of Sin's face and not her actual, how her face actually looked that day. And so doing that, I got my color palette all set up and all the mixtures ready. And then I started painting wet into wet from that. So I was just kind of um, re-putting the colors on and since I was, like I was saying before, I guess painting thinner and more up in layers, kind of searching for the colors and values. Since I've gotten the colors and values accurate enough and I wanted to change up the painting technique so it didn't have this like scratchy look but something that's a bit more fluid like how I like Nick Alm's work and it's um, uh, forms are really they unify as they change into different forms and I feel like I wasn't getting it in my painting so mixing up the colors and applying it to my painting and then since everything was wet 
then I could really start to play around with pulling shapes together and getting uh, brush strokes that are hopefully looking a little bit more effortless and not so searched after, which I think you can kind of get with just a ton of glazing and dry brushing, but give it a little bit more of an a la prima look. But so that was definitely fun to play around with. And also too, which I think for the future when I'm not going to be in school anymore, I think it's a good idea to keep books around of painters that are really great, like Nick Alm, and if you have a possibility to get the book, or you know, just collecting images from painters online, if you can't get the books of your favorite painters, to be comparing their work with yours. So you kind of don't get stuck in a bubble where you're just seeing your own work, but you know, you're surrounding yourself with people that are uh, better at you, so you can really keep striving to push forward. But this is Nick Om. He is really young. I think he's in his young 30s. And his work is just really fantastic. This is a watercolor, which um, I've never seen watercolor done quite this way where the drawing is so tight. I also haven't looked at a lot of watercolors before, so maybe a lot of people do that, but I hadn't seen it before and I was really impressed. These are, this one's a watercolor and this one's a watercolor. This one's a, this one's an oil painting now. But I recommend this book. It's got a lot of nice reproductions in it. And I think the original of where I was buying this was sold out. So this was a used copy, but um, I'll try and find a link on it and post it in the description box below if anyone else is interested in getting this book.